Hey everyone, this is my August um, hit and misses. Um, as usual, items that I've been, products that I have been loving and been using more or less all the time, and um, one miss. So, firstly, I'm going to pick out is the Swiss program Pure Mud Mask. And it looks like this. People that um, usually follow me will know that I brought this at an extortionate price in Hong Kong when I first arrived there. I think this was, I think, winter last year, December last year. And um, I have been using it this religiously every week, once or twice every week since then. And yes, I remember it being extremely expensive and I'm not sure that I would actually repurchase this when I finish it just be just because I think for a mud mask it was re it's really really expensive um, this is a really good mask a really good um, clay mask um, and it's like this it has an additional stopper which is great because this has lasted me for quite a long time and I think without this the top layer would have always dried out and I am near the bottom now and this is just a really good ma mud mask, clay mask um, I think a lot of clay masks tend to make my skin feel dry afterwards yes they're amazing in the sense that a lot of the ones that I've used including uh, mud, the botanics range um, the origins I think they've got clay mask or mud mask as well I've used a plethora of mud masks and this is the only one that really leaves my skin feeling um, moisturised afterwards um, it does a great job my face usually feels really clean and really clear after using this and I use this um, at least once a week um, if I can maybe fit it in I'll use this twice a week but at least once a week and it leaves my face feeling really clean um, my pores just look really clean um, my skin feels really breathable and the best thing is that my skin doesn't feel tight or dry afterwards which a lot of the clay masks do I'm not going to complain about them because they do a great job at um, removing all the impurities from my pores but this just has the extra benefit in making my skin feel really um, moisturised afterwards and I'm not sure, like I said, I'm not sure if that in itself is worth I think it was about 90, 80 pounds and yes, it's, it's 200 mils and yes this had last me way over half a lit year. Like I said, I bought this beginning of December when I first arrived in Hong Kong and it's nearly August now and I can see still a good few weeks of use in this. Um, but I can't really say whether I would repurchase this or not because I have to get back to Hong Kong first as it is. But this is an amazing mud mask. Um, another favourite is um, the e.l.f. mineral complexion brush I brought this um, I got I brought this in my first e.l.f. haul I've got the um, e.l.f. haul video up here in my channel somewhere I'll put a link in my description box um, but I've brought this over a month ago and I have been using it every single day it is great for contouring I use this mainly for my bronzer and my blusher and this is a great size. It's, uh, it's uh, the head's quite flat. It's not a circular powder brush, and it's just great for getting the perfect contour. And it's just a perfect size um, for my blush as well. Um, it transfers the pigments really well from pot to skin um, without losing a lot of colour, and it's just amazingly soft. And I think for five fifty, it's a bargain for such a great brush. Um, next, I have been loving and been using um, 
nearly every day, not every day, depending what makeup I have on, but nearly every day. And this is um, the Double Act. Oh, it's really bright at the moment. Um, oh, there you go, get the right way around, there you go. Um, this is by um, W7. I haven't actually heard of this um, brand before, but I was in, um, I think, Derby Shopping, no, Leicester Shopping Centre, and um, they have a House of Fraser outlet there, and they just had a lot of W7 brand makeup, and I just saw this, and it just reminds me of the... Oh, I can't think of any names today. I don't know why. Um, Benefit blushes. That's it. And I just thought, you know, it was three pounds seventy-five, so it was really cheap, really inexpensive, and it's down from six pounds, which was the uh, which is the RRP. And I didn't think that it would actually be that good. I brought it just wanting to try it out. And the fact that I hadn't heard of this brand before. And I actually really like it. This is the bronzer and blush. Don't know how well you can see it. It's really bright outside at the moment. Um, I wouldn't use this bronzer. I haven't used the bronzer as much. I've mainly been using the blush quite a lot. The bronzer itself isn't for contouring. It is quite sparkly, quite um, shiny. Granted, it doesn't transfer... Um, really sparkly onto the skin. I've actually got makeup underneath that um, from another video. But I, when I use the bronzer, I usually you mix it with their blusher and use it um, as a um, actual uh, bronzer, not for contouring, but um, over my cheeks and my forehead. And but it's the blusher that I really, really love. It just has a really nice sheen to it it's just a really nice light uh you can't really see it there either a uh, peachy pink color and i just really like it um and i've been using it for most days so i am really impressed i may need to go back there and see what other makeup this brand has um so yeah I was just reading to see if there's a name or anything, but it's just a two-in-one, a double-act two-in-one blusher and bronzer. Um, War Paint W7. That's the only names I can get for it, but I have been absolutely loving that. Next, um, I have, I really like, is the um, Soap and Glory Glow All Out Luminizing Radiance Face Powder. It looks like this sorry if the lighting keeps changing for some reason it gets really bright and then it gets really dull so um and i look like i've got a shiny face so nice but uh, back to this um the soap and glory glow all out face powder and it looks like this it's got a mirror on this side and this is the powder um I don't use this all over my face, even though they say it's a face powder. I use this as a um, highlighter or um, a luminizing um, lighter. So I put this on top of my cheeks here and also underneath my brow. And if I need that extra glow in the evenings, I'll put a little bit down my nose and onto my chin. And um, I just really like this. I don't know what it is about this powder, um, but I just love how it looks um, highlighting my skin. I'll put it on my other hand. It's really pigmented. This is a really big dollop I've put on my hand, so, um, but it just blends in really well. It's uh, really soft, and um, I don't know, it just makes it just makes a nice finish to my um, makeup. So I absolutely love that. I got it for eight pounds because I think it's 
three pounds off soap and glory makeup products at the moment in boots so it's worth checking them out um and my final product that i've been loving this month or the last month or two and this is the um and it doesn't have a label on it at all this is the um elf blemish treatment i don't actually know if it's called if they and if that's the actual name but it'll be spot treatment or spot relief or blemish treatment whatever and um, I showed this in my elf haul video so I'll put the link there as well and it's basically a blemish treatment um, that you spin this get the product out and you apply it to where you have any um, blemishes that you can feel coming out or you've got blemish and um, this contains like witch hazel, um, aloe vera, um, salicylic acid so all the main properties you get in a spot treatment um, I can't say that it definitely works, it gives you immediate results or anything like that um, I just like it in the sense that I know that I'm putting on um, a product that I know has ingredients that I usually use for um, blemishes and spots and it's just easy to apply it's easy to reach for I can use this under and over makeup um, and it's just easy to carry around in my bag as well so this is really good I think this was only 375 um, but you could always get it cheaper because there's always voucher codes or um, that they have with like 30% off their whole product ranges etc and finally the one product that I haven't I don't really like at all and it's the collection 2000 cream puff moisturizing lip cream and it looks like this this isn't a any of their new products, it's just something that I just happened to notice when I was checking out the collection um, 2000 cosmetics. Um, what it says here is a velvety soft matte finish lip cream and the thing that attracted me to this <clears throat> is the matte finish. Um, and I know I have a lot of matte finish looking lipsticks but like I said, I'm not really um, a lipstick type during the day just because they do dry my lips out quite a lot. Um, and this calling a moisturising lip cream, I thought, you know, it could be really good. But I think they've only got like four shades and I've got this one in Powder Puff too. And it is, you know, initially when you apply it, it is really good. It's... Um, the colour is, the pay, the colour payoff is really good and when you first apply it, it is really, really creamy and it gives you that nice matte look that um, I was going for and this is quite a natural shade obviously and um, when I first applied it, I was really impressed, I loved it and everything but a couple of hours in, probably before that, but I was trying to ignore it my lips became so dry, it was unbelievable. Um, it just started to peel there and then. And that and the only thing that I had changed or put on that could cause that was this. I did give it more than one chance and it happened several times. So I've been so I was really disappointed in that because other than that I really loved it, but it just means I can't use it at all because it just dries the living daylights out of my lips so um, that is my miss for this month um, so I hope you enjoy that thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye